Hi everyone! This is a series of videos named What Pagefly Can Do. In these videos, I will use Pagefly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites, so that we can demonstrate capability of our app, and the reason why Pagefly is number one Shopify page builder. In this video, I will guide you how to build a complete About Us page in Pagefly. Today's website is West Elm, a home furnishings brand that sells furniture, bedding, and decor. About Us page is an essential part of a website, as it provides visitors with an understanding of the company and can help to establish trust and credibility with potential customers or clients. Now, let's get started to build an About Us page. You need to create a Pagefly regular page on Dashboard. Click on Page. Choose Create a Blank Page and select Regular Page. It will direct to Pagefly Page Editor. The first section is Hero Banner. We need a video that is the a background video of the section and text on it. This section is full width. Back to the Pagefly Page Editor. Firstly, I will add a 1 over 1 layout. Drag and drop it to the page. Click on the section on the breadcrumb here. Go ahead to the Styling tab to add a background video. To add a background video, you need to upload that video to Shopify admin here. And copy the link of video. And paste in Pagefly. Then go ahead to left side toolbar. I will drag a heading element. Change the text content here. And set it as a H1. Next, I will add a parapgra below the heading. A tip for you if you want to know which font this text is using, you just need to right click and open inspect. Here in tab styles, you can see all styles set to the text, and if you click tab computed here, you will know the font family. The font using here is a custom font that is not available in font manager, so you need to upload it in uploaded font in extra function in pagefly. You can check the video in the description of this video. I uploaded the font here. Now I will go to the styling tab to change the content color, font size, and click more settings and adjust the font weight and line height. And here is the result. Now, I choose the whole section and adjust the padding values to make the background bigger. A tip for you to easily manage and customize a page. You need to divide the page into many sections. The sections will contain separate content. As you can see on this page about 12 sections, it's quite a lot. But it have some similar sections so you just need to duplicate section and change the kit. Now I will guide you how to build the second section. Click on the add element on the left hand side and choose one third layout. Drag and drop it into page editor. In the first column, I will add a heading and paragraph. And I will change the content in the general tab and adjust style in styling tab. I will do a quick demo for you. Next, I will add image element in the next to column. Click on image. Head to general tab and select image here. Scroll down below to set original for image ratio. You can do similarly to the third column. It's done. To make the section full width, click on the section and turn off set fix width. To create the space for the section and the edge of the page, move to styling tab and set padding for it. I will adjust 50px for padding left and right. The next sections are similar to the previous one. You just need to click on the second section to create more. The third section just have to column. I will duplicate this one and remove one column. Click on the green line to create the width for each column. And now, you just need to change the content and image for this section.
As you can see on the sample page, text is on the right and image on the left, you should click on the row, move to Styling tab. Scroll down and select Flex and Display Style. In drop down of Flex Direction, I will choose Row Reverse. Back to General tab, I will adjust column spacing here. Click on the section again, and I will remove the padding of section. The last section is this one. I will add a layout with two columns. Change the width of each column by dragging the green line. In the column, I will add an image, a heading, a paragraph, and a button. In the second column, I will add paragraph and divider like this. All you need to do is change select image, change the content and adjust the style. I will do a quick demo for you. For the button, I will change the icon position to the right on General tab. Click on the icon to choose another one like this. You can scroll down to add click action for the button. Select go to the URL here. Turn on open the new tab if you want and save. For the divider, click on it. Head to General tab. You can change the divider type or the line weight on the styling tab. You can change the color and other style. Almost done. We will change the background color for the section. Turn off set fix width on general tab and adjust padding for the section on styling tab. And all done for this section. Don't forget to switch to other views to check responsive. I will check on mobile for example. For the first section, you can see that the font size and the section are too large. You can change the font size and adjust the padding for the section again. Now, save and publish the page to check on live. Here we are. This is the end of the video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7, to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.